We are set, ready to rock for this Madden Ultimate Team matchup. And these guys on your screen, ready to rock as well. Some of the stars of today's game. And speaking of the game, let's get right to it. Jake Bailey ready to do the honors. And off we go from Tampa. Here's Harvin. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. And they'll come out with a three tight end look on the first play of the drive. This one up to about the 38. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. And off comes to Peterson. And this time not as successful as he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. But just play number three here on the opening drive, and it's an early third and one to throw his fields. just get rid of it. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. That's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. They'll run for it. Peterson. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Here's Fields, eluding the pressure right. And he wisely will throw that one away. Oh, I like that right there. Not only was it the right play, throwing it away like that, and frankly, I think it was the only play. Yeah, got outside of the pocket, realized he had nothing, just chucked it free. Yeah, lived to fight another down, right? Flushed out right. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. can only get this to the 42-yard line, and that is not near enough. Oh, a big decision here early. Look at this. They're going to go for it on their own side of the field. And the catch made. This is Emmanuel Sanders. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 at the 38. On first down, it's Peterson. Flash the stick skills, but didn't get a ton from it. Stop short of the 35. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Now it's AP, Adrian Peterson. Nothing doing. Barely able to muster a yard to hit the 35. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready and looked for that run pass option. You get the sense? The next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? He's got his tight end Friar Muth over the middle. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. On first down, it's Fields. Flush to his right. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked up by the 13-time Pro Bowler, Ray Lewis. Buccaneers are going to get possession here as they force the opening drive turnover. A young quarterback, Charles, rolling to his right. They know he's right-handed, but is that one that maybe a veteran sticks in his pocket? I think so, but you have to remember with young quarterbacks, it may take a few years before they get all the stuff out of them that they did earlier in their career or even in their college days when they were used to being dominant. In this case, the NFL veteran defense ended up winning the battle. And it'll be a minimum pickup here as it will take us to the end of the first quarter. We're scoreless after one. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Hey, check, Mike 57, Mike 57. Target, target, target. 
The give to Henry. And he'll take it across the 50 and into New England territory. The heavy set out there. Three tight ends in the formation for third and three. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. That is not going to be any help as they dump him behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a full three yards, and it brings up fourth down. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Picked off by Leonard Floyd, and the Pats will take over possession here up at the 44. He's just got to be thinking, I hope that's not a harbinger of things to come. Very first pass of the afternoon picked. And where do you go from here? Because when you start that way, do you allow that to seep into you and stay with you the rest of the game? And he will not make it back to the line of scrimmage as he's going to be taken down. The sack cost him only a yard. It's second and 11. Fields now to throw. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. And he's only hit on two of his first six passes. Time for a quick quarterback regroup here with a big third down coming up. From the gun on third down, Fields. This will be caught. It's Waddle. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. They'll get 10 there, but it leaves them just short for fourth down. Running for it, here's Peterson. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Good spot on the field to go for it. Kind of no man's land, as they call it, and it worked out. Yeah, they call it no man's land because your punter is telling you it's too short. I'm just going to punt it into the end zone. Your field goal kicker might give you a little raised eyebrow. Might be too far for the field goal, so it gives you a great chance to go for it. Personally, if you have those tendencies to be aggressive as a head coach, you kind of like this spot because it gives you the decision to go ahead and go for it when you want to anyway. And a solid run down inside the 30. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. Now a run with Peterson. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. 40 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. Decided to hand it off that time on the run pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice steady gain. They'll run on first down. It's Peterson, and he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense, and guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time, but you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. And Field's going to have the first down before sliding to a halt to avoid the contact. A tenth carry now for Peterson. Flash those fast feet, but they'll drop him at the five-yard line as he can't get any closer to the end zone. And when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. First and goal at the one. A final shot before the break, Fields. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Adrian Peterson still with a nose for that end zone, scoring from a yard out. And the Pats have taken the lead on the final play of the first half. Extra point attempt to follow here. And he gets it to make it 7-0 Patriots. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. Just the one touchdown in that first half. 7-0 our score as we get going in quarter number three. Fielded just outside the goal line. And they'll be backed up to start this drive as he's taken down right around the 15. 
The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. And they do trail, but they have a chance to possess the football first to try and do something about it. And that certainly makes it something of an important drive for them because is it going to win the game? No, but you have to do something to bring some life to your sideline. Henry again on second down. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. On play action, Allen. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. They failed once in this spot earlier, but the offense will stay out to go for it on fourth down. They'll try and throw for it here. They'll try it for Sanders, but this is intercepted. Picked up by Pete Werner. And they will finally get him, but not until he's all the way down inside the 15-yard line. The first half did not go their way, and that's not going to help matters at all. An interception here on the opening drive of the third quarter. Obviously not what they were striving to accomplish, but you know who's really upset on their team? The defense. And this is caught. Touchdown, Patriots. Jalen Waddle there to make the grab. And the Pats take advantage of field position on the turnover to cash this one in. Extra point by Blankenship is up and good, and it's now 14 to nothing. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And that one bounces out of the back of the end zone, so we'll start the drive at the 25 on the touchback. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. To this point, the results have not been good. Two possessions, two turnovers. And that's obviously something that can't continue, but to go a little bit deeper on that one, I would think about some play calls now, not even necessarily to my best player, but to someone I can trust with the ball, trying to get things settled down a little bit. Even with that broken tackle, can't go very far. Stop short of the 30. They follow up the gain of two with a gain of one that time. Buying time to his left. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Working out of the shotgun, here's Allen. And right side, Henry's got it. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Nothing in that first half, nothing on the last drive, but they're moving now with a first and 10. Now a handoff to Henry. And they're going to get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare afternoon continues. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. Throwing now is Allen. Escaping the pressure right. And Allen going to be intercepted for the third time. Picked off by Pat Sertan. And he returns it into enemy territory. 